is an important thing to talk about. You know, the march we're calling for climate action on a systemic scale, but in order to inspire any sort of change, you have to embody that yourself. So it's about integrity for myself and for the march, the means to provide an example or to inspire others. I'm marching across the country from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. Uh, because I care about all the people alive now and the future generations who are being affected and will be affected by the climate crisis. And I, I, I want to demonstrate how seriously I take this and how important it is for us to step outside of whatever's comfortable and make some big changes because we need to make some big changes if we want to survive and thrive. We walk 15 miles, what do we get? One day closer to D.C. we're set. Sharing our minds with the politicians with the backing of a hundred thousand friends. Well, I think your footsteps are unbroken or part of a prayer for me. And uh, it's important to it's important to just get out there and make them all the way across. I don't know, I'm 60 years old. I don't, uh, I'm not an athlete or anything. <laughs> I'm just driven by my spirit to do this. I mean, it's already too late for many species. We are in the middle of a mass extinction. It's brought on by our own, our own hubris, our own um, technological revolution, the uh, industrial revolution is not a revolution we can really win. I, you know, I've given up the rat race. I'm just like, I'm done with that. I cannot go on with pretending that it's okay to pollute and just go on as if nothing is wrong. We are facing a drastic change in our environment and uh, we're gonna face a drastic change in our lives, whether we like it or not. If we start now, we can make it less bad. But. Uh, I know for, as an uh, ecology, a student of ecology um, and a teacher of environmental science that uh, we're in a bad way. And uh, you know, I'm doing this march because it's like all I ha have left. We all have a choice. We all have a decision whether we're acknowledging that there is a problem or not. Um, if there is a problem that we are all facing, whether there's a problem that uh, we may or may not be directly experiencing, uh, it's about listening, it's about being more attentive, being more conscientious about our own personal behaviors. As long as we've been walking along the side of the road, there have been grave markers along the way, uh, all along the way, of people who have gotten hit and killed in those very spots. And it's a constant reminder of how dangerous a lot of this walking is and the need for us to be self-aware and conscious as we're moving forward. When the climate change has been We'll fly away. I have faith we can, it's not a curse. We'll fly away. When people see somebody and they go, wow, what's that group walking across the road for? What are they doing? Then people are willing to stop and say, hey, what are you doing? And that's when there's a conversation can be open about um, inspiring action and change in legislation in Washington for climate change. Well, there are many naysayers out there, but do I think that I can make a difference? You bet I do. Um, to do whatever we can to, to face the climate crisis and to act to reduce the suffering and injustice that is inflicted on others um, because of the lifestyle and the, the culture that we uh, accept and that is normal for us now. We need to transcend the bullshit. Uh, we need to stay together on this, otherwise we'll fall. To DCO, won't you please join me? Just wrap the camera if I come and hug you. No, you can hug me.